Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm very sorry for the huge delay. I've been extremely busy with everything else concerning job hunting and all that, but that's a different story. Right now I'm here and I'm going to give you another review and this time it is going to be on hair color. And right I have what I have in front of me right now is the Silk Elements Mega Silk Semi-Permanent Hair Color. You can find these at Sally Beauty Supply. These aren't just the only two colors they got. They got a whole variety of colors. But like I said, you can find them at Sally Beauty Supply for like I guess four forty nine, I I'm guessing. They're a lot cheaper if you have a Sally's Beauty card. But I can just tell you right now, these these colors right here are really good. I have to say, Silk Elements actually quite impressed me with this when it comes to semi-permanent hair color. Now, the two colors I have are black and burgundy brown. And I'm sorry if my fingernails look really dirty because I just colored my hair today using the burgundy brown. And I will be showing pictures of that in a few minutes once I get done. But um, these colors are very impressive. This, this semi-permanent hair color in general is actually pretty darn impressive. And this is coming from somebody who tried another brand of per of semi-permanent hair color, which was the Clairol Beautiful Collection Moisturizing Hair Color. And that one was not a good one. It made my hair extremely stiff and dry. So I was kind of weary when I decided to try these for the first time. And I have to say, the this brand of semi-permanent hair color is one of my favorites. It doesn't strip your hair. In fact, every time you use it, it almost feels like your hair doesn't really change. Now, it claims it does have argan oil and silk protein. Argan oil, it does have, but that ingredient is like the second to last ingredient. So I'm guessing not a lot in this. As for the silk protein, I didn't really... I checked the ingredient list like maybe three times and I didn't really see anything that stood out that said hydrolyzed silk or something around that. But, um... Yeah, I just used the burgundy brown today, and I will be showing you pictures of that. As a matter of fact, I'll show you pictures right now, because I end up taking at least three, two to three pictures of what my hair looked like after I colored my hair using this, the burgundy brown. So I'll show them to you right now. Okay, so yeah, that's what my hair pretty much looked like afterwards. And as you can see, it my hair took the color really, really, really well. Now, this black one was the first color of this whole line that I've actually tried. And surprisingly, it didn't show up as a solid black color. It showed up as a dark brown, a very dark brown. The only way you would be able to see if my hair was colored a, a nice natural black color is when you would have to see me in direct light like sunlight or fluorescent light but i can tell you right now since today since i colored my hair using the burgundy brown i am a big fan of this color specifically and i can see myself purchasing this color again but yeah oh and another thing if you want to use this if you're going to use a semi-permanent hair color pretty much this i highly recommend leaving it in for more than 30 minutes at least up to an hour if you want to go above an hour or more or even leave it, leave it in overnight, hey, that's entirely up to you. Now, for me, I left in this burgundy brown color for at least an hour and a half. And I think that's what caused my hair to really take the color very well. Because if you try and leave it in for the time that it specifies, which is up to 30 minutes for natural hair and 15 minutes for relaxed hair... Well, if you try to leave it in for natural hair up to 30 minutes, I don't think your hair is really going to take the color as well. You're not going to see a dramatic difference. I can't speak for relaxed hair because I don't have relaxed hair anymore. I used to have it, but I don't have it anymore. So I can't speak on that. It's up. If you have relaxed hair and you've tried this color before, then let me know in the comments. Let me know how this worked for you. But if you have natural hair like I do, I highly recommend leaving it in for about an hour or more. At least more than 30 minutes because your hair really wants to take this color in. And when you do, you won't regret it. It'll give you really good results. So thumbs up thumbs up for this color. I can see myself purchasing this again. This is one of my favorite semi-permanent hair colors to go with. And 
after this, I do want to try and experiment with other semi-permanent hair colors like Manic Panic for starters. Starters because I've been really interested in that stuff. So I will be trying that. But yeah, if you never tried this semi-permanent hair color before, please go to Sally Beauty Supply and check it out. It's really good. They have a whole variety of colors, not just these two. So check it out. Um, if you've ever tried it, leave your comments below. Let me know how it worked for you. If you have a certain way you apply the color instead of applying it directly from the bottle, let me know about that too. Go ahead and share your strategy. But that's my review on it. I really like it. I'm willing to try it again. And yeah, that's pretty much my review. So if you like it, thumbs up the video. It's Jasmine Ruffin here and more reviews will be soon to come. All right. See ya.